our ustaz Musa Muhammad Bukhari, may Allah assist him, help him, and guide him righteously with Al Jannah. Amen. Allah be aziz. May Allah assist Darul Huda. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a center that our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be proud of in the day of judgment. We quickly now go to the next item on the agenda as we invite the chairman of the estate to come for his opening remark and as well uh, declare the occasion open. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, the Honorable Minister of Communication and Digital Economy being represented by Professor Sahalu Junaid, the father and mother of the day, members of our Shura Committee and members of the Executive Committee, our esteemed parents, the graduates, and other invited guests. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm highly delighted to receive all the distinguished personalities present at this very great occasion where we celebrate and honor our children within the estate community and beyond. Completing the study and recitation of the Holy Quran is a divine call from Almighty Allah to the generality of mankind as deduced from the life and times of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when Angel Jibril visited him at Kevhira, telling him to read. And he replied, uh, I do not know how to read. If you want to share the question. If you want to share the listing, the share file, you know. Oh, and he re replied, I do not know how to read. And the angel said, Ikra bismi rabbika lazi khalaga. Uh, read in the name of your Lord who created everything. The above verse signifies the importance of knowledge, especially the knowledge of the Holy Quran. So I call on all parents present who are yet to enroll their words in the Islamia to do so and to also enroll their wives, including themselves, because it is compulsory for every Muslim to know how to read and understand the glorious Quran. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says seeking knowledge is compulsory for every Muslim. And the best of you are those who study the Quran and teach others. Uh, let me use this opportunity to briefly uh, brief our guests on the activities of the SciTech Estate Muslim Association. The association was incorporated as incorporated trustee with CSE on 8 December 2010. A journey that started with a temporary site for the Muslim Ummah of the Estate to pray has now become a full Jumu'ah masjid with eight prayers uh, being observed by the estate main gate. We started our Islamia in 2013 with just four students and currently we have over 200 students. Uh, we conduct ta'alim on Wednesdays and Sundays. We provide Ramadan iftar to the needy during Ramadan and carry out visitation to open edge and the prison. With the growing number of Muslims moving into the estate and its surroundings, the masjid and the Islamia has become insufficient for our growing users. We have identified an undeveloped land that is reserved for the Muslim Ummah of Umbora district and had requested the FCT administration to reallocate the land to us for the development of an Islamic center that will cater for the growing needs of the Umbora district Muslim Ummah. We want to thank the Honorable Minister of FCT for attending to our request. Uh, he has already he has been processing this our request and we understand inshallah we will soon uh, get the approval we hope and pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for him to complete the process so that it will be part of his sadaqatul jariah uh, in the interim we are looking at an option of renting a bigger structure to move the islamia school we solicit the assistance of our well wishers parents and other muslim ummah to donate toward this two goals. It will be a good sadaqatul jariah for those wishing to invest for their akra. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our graduates, their parents, with the blessings of Al-Quran and reward our esteemed malams with a jannah to produce. Jazakallah khairan. Our Father, may Allah reward you abundantly. Uh, before 
I introduce the next person to give us a remark. If we all heard what our chairman has just presented, you should know that we have a long way to go as we are learning. Dunia is a very temporary journey that all of us here one day will not be here and what will count for us before Allah is what our chairman has just mentioned. Several work preparing to make Islam of next generation more beautiful. Aside this center, they have a land dedicated to the progress of this masjid and the Islamic education here. May Allah reward you people abundantly for this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take this, your collective responsibility and contribution to Islam as an act of ibadah with al-Jannah. Jazakumullah khaira. May Allah reward this estate powerfully with al-Jannah. Please allow me to also invite one of our father member, board of trustee of this Islamia, Al-Haji Sheikh Muhammad, to come and give uh, opening remark. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahla wa sahla. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. The Minister of ICT and Digital Economy, here ably represented by Professor Shaib. The various ulamas here present, our chairman of the Muslim community, our elders here present, our mothers, our sisters, our children, our invited guests, I say assalamu alaikum to all of us. I say universal greetings to all Muslims. It is very, very delighting to gather here today to celebrate the graduation of our mothers, our children, and our wives. So we give thanks to Allah. May peace and blessing of Allah be upon the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and the generality of Muslims all over the world, and our departed respected scholars and the living and the future generation of Muslims. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran has made it very, very clear that the purpose of creating man and jinn is only to worship Allah and to worship him alone. And this cannot be done without the basic education because Allah equally says, know me before you worship me. And you cannot worship Allah unless you have the knowledge of worshiping Allah. Uh, it is very, very important for us to get this knowledge. That is why the fundamental element of any Muslim community is the establishment of the institutions to teach man everything about Allah, ranging from worshiping Allah, political, economic, social. So the mosque is the center of this institution. And this responsibility lies with the parents to ensure that the parents ensure that the children are brought up in a very proper Islamic manner. And in a situation whereby the parents cannot discharge the responsibility, of course it is mandatory to establish this institution in order to ensure that we are all educated. Uh, I can tell you, I can give testimony to the establishment of this Muslim Ummah because we started prayers in a house somewhere to the right and then gradually we had the prayers. Uh, the establishment of these monks is very, very miraculous because Allah says any community that refuses to raise off his religion is going to raise another Ummah to do it for him. And may Allah accept our little effort in establishing this Muslim uh, community. We are giving this site thinking that it's the worst site. And Allah made it possible that the gate of this estate is just close to the mosque. So we thank Allah uh, for that. So going back to the establishment of the Muslim society, it is very, very important for people to rise up to ensure that uh, the society 
is brought up in the most uh, Muslim attitudes and education. And we are able to do this together with all the ulamas led by our Imam, Imam Musa Buhari. And for this, we receive a lot of support from the surrounding uh, mosque, from the ministry of the FCT, uh, I'm sure also from all the interested members of Muslim community. For this, we are very, very grateful. We have been supported by the FCT minister, by the ministers in the uh, various government. This we have had a lot of support. And of course, the Muslim community has done a lot to ensure that uh, this institution stood the test of time. So without wasting time, I want to thank everybody for coming here. I want to thank especially our wives, our sisters, as our children, and our children also. And also want to thank all the prominent members of this state and those that came from outside to support us. We say thank you very much. And uh, the Honorable Minister here, represented by Professor Shabu, we say thank you to all of us. Assalamu, assalamu alaikum. And we wish all our saves uh, this day to be successful. And may Allah guide us and protect us. Thank you very much. Uh, Father, one of the member of Board of Trustees, Sheikh al Haji Sheikh Muhammad, may Allah reward you abundantly. Thanks for the acknowledgement, the effort of our parents who had been there and uh, provide children for them to learn Islam and your own collective effort to see that this teaching and learning take place you know, perfectly, not for any reason, mm -hmm. but for Al-Jannah. May Allah recognize your effort and reward you abundantly.